Hi, so here we are at video four of uh, rigging with advanced skeleton, and we're going to get cracking with the facial rig this time. So uh, the facial rig setup. Um, I'm going to uh, go straight in and uh, just explain um, uh, the process here. Um, we don't need the body anymore, so we're going to go straight down to the face setup. There's a lot of helpful um, hints and tips that we're going to follow and guides that as we go through. You'll get used to it as you go through, but even after rigging dozens of, of characters, I, I, I still always check these um, help fast for positioning. So everyone's character is going to have different topology, different density, so basic placements are the same. Um, but it, but obviously they will change depending on your character. Um, obviously my girl's got a little big head and big cheeks, so you know I mean you can even rig uh, fish and, and, and animals and stuff with this, and you can talk in animals and things. Um, so um, let, let's let's dive straight in. Um, I'm going to hide the hair. Let's get rid of the hair. It's in our way at the moment. And I'm also I want to put I want to put the, the, the let's hide the eyes and I want to put the stuff like the lashes and the brows on its own layer and the, and the mouth inside just so we can turn it on and off when we need it. Um, let's go to um, the mouth group as well, which is the the teeth inside. I've got teeth and tongue, and mouth in it. You can see the mouth bag inside. I'm going to layer, create layer from selected. Call it whatever you want. Save, hide that. Back to a shaded view. Okay, so we're going to jump into a side view. And we don't need to see anything but the polygons at the moment. So show none, <coughs> show polygons, side view, go into shaded view. <coughs> I am going to uh, we don't need the we don't need the models smoothed. <clears throat> so this is where we are, the first step of the face. Now this very first step um, um, change, it has changed quite a lot. So the developer does keep Advanced Skeleton up to date and makes improvements all the time. Um, so as of this very latest version, this, this first step has changed again. Um, it's basically selecting the area of what's going to be affected and it keeps being improved. So let's click on the little helper file. And um, you can see the selection of, of, of polygons is, is selected there. Um, I normally work on two monitors, so um, I'll try and cram it on here. So let's go to, um, I'm right clicking here, faces, and we're just going to drag and, and, and let go and select. I'm going to hold down both keys of a shift and control to group select more. Um, let, let's, have a, let's have a little look. So, you know, we, we want to try and get it sort of similar to what. Um, to what's in the instructions, so you know, just before the ear, um, we're not going to want the ear to um, um, to go much. Let's let's select those uh, again. Sh uh, shift the shift key and control key to select, and if I let go um, the shift key and and highlight again, that removes it. And obviously, I'm exactly on the side, so it's doing it to the other side as well. So let's have a look. We're going down the side of the ear. Let's select this one. Um, let's, let's zoom in here. Um, let's get all the jaw in here because um, it does. It does. Um, the jaw is going to pivot from here, so we will see the flesh there. Um, let's deselect these. Um, just need a little bit of the neck selected, maybe just for the throat. Um, let's let's just take these ones away. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to close that. <clears throat> and what you do now is you click the button. So we're going to go through these steps one by one. Click the button, mask. <clears throat> and you'll see at the bottom it's going to um, um, uh, go through and, and create a mask of all, of all the polygons. Next step is face. So just follow instructions. It just said, this one's pretty simple. It just says select the face object. So I'm going to pop this. Select, if, if you've got, um, if your character is... Um, its head's cut off except from its body. Obviously, you won't need to select the body. So I'm going to select face, and it adds there. This one is all head. So it says select all the objects that will be affected by the face setup. So we're going to select all those objects. I'm not going to include the hair because we have done that separately because we added our own joints. So I'm now going to turn on all my mouth parts. Again, as I said before, don't select the groups. You need to select the actual objects. So from a side view, I am going to select every object including the head that's already been selected before so we've got the eyelashes 
all the eyebrows, the teeth, the gums, the tongue, and the face shape, and click all head. And this was um, uh, come up with, uh, we need to create a new skin cluster, because as before, we didn't actually um, skin the teeth um, or the eyebrows or anything like that. So, yep, go ahead and click create new skin cluster, and we get a new skin cluster for all these different objects. Um, then I'm gonna go back into my perspective mode. I'm gonna turn on my eyes and it's asking us to simply select the character's right eye. So don't forget, this is the right. If we're looking through the character this way, this is the right, this is the left. It's not screen left and screen right. So uh, right eye. Again, it's gonna say create new skin cluster because the, as you saw before, we did actually have joints and you can, you can just parent them to the joints, but we want to use advanced skeletons um, skinning to get that fleshy eye. I'm going to go create new skin cluster. Um, and then I'm going to go, uh, we don't need to click on left eye, so obviously just select left eye, left eye, create new skin cluster. And here we go. The, the, it says these ones here are optional, but we definitely want them. So let's go and select the upper teeth. I'm going to um, hide the, the, the body. Um, it's actually Let's put the body on a, on a separate layer for now. I know it's on that high, but it's attached to other other objects as well. Create new layer, um, body. I'm just gonna hide that for now. So we want the upper teeth, and that does include the gums. So if you've got them as separate objects, select both of them. Here we go, it says select the upper teeth. This says this, this step is optional. If your character has no teeth, there is no need for this step. If your model has the teeth and face parts of the same mesh, then select the poly faces for the teeth at this step. <clears throat> so I wouldn't recommend having the teeth and the gums actually modeled as part of the, the, the character. But if you have, you would just select the polys and it would still work. So upper teeth. And now you're going to select my lower teeth and gums. Lower teeth. I'm going to select the tongue. So all quite simple. I'm now going to select the two eyebrow geometries and now I'm going to select the eyelashes and there's an option for extras um, select any uh, extra objects such as moustache, beard I don't have any of that for now so I'm going to leave that off I'm going to bring my body back um, what I like to do here actually is I like to save a file because uh, as I say I'm, I'm very cautious so um, it's going to be rig3 but this one is going to be pre-face run. <clears throat> so I like to save a version before we click the run build uh, build advanced skeleton face. Um, that's just extra safety. Click save as. <clears throat> Let's just save in. Okay. <clears throat> now this section here is 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 new. <clears throat> so you've got a rig type joints or blend shapes. Um, you might you want you, you might want to do a bit of research on this, Google it. But here's a basic bit, bit of information. Obviously, joints rig creates a joints based rig, and blend shape creates a blend blend shape based rig. There are various pros and cons with the two types of face rigs. So, so read through this. It's basically saying that blend shape can be better because you can sculpt them. But I and my animators, we um, you know we prefer the joints because we need controls, extra controls on top to be able to animate. Um, so I'm going to go with the joints rig. There's an option for non-symmetrical. So if you've got a character that isn't symmetrical, um, before it was really hard to do the face rig through advanced skeleton, now it's a bit easier. I haven't um, tried this yet, um, but it says here it's recommended to have a model that is symmetrical, but, but for a character that cannot be made symmetrical, this function lets you do the fitting for both left and right side separately. Um, so, you know, that option is there now. Now this option here, game engine, this is new as well. And to be honest, this is brilliant because we at my small studio have started using Unreal Engine to do real time rendering, even for, um, you know, uh, like video work, TV film and non game stuff. Um, it is the way the industry is moving. It's up for, you know, we can chat about this in another video. Um, I'm going to click on the little helper. What it does is it strips out. Um, heavy going things that aren't that don't work in Unreal or Unity which is like Delta Mush, Head Squash, Custom Controllers. Um, so it, it is really good. That was it was it was more difficult before to get it into the game engine. Um, I'm gonna leave that off for now because we don't need it. 
um, you can um, have a look at some of these. For characters that do not have an advanced body rig, um, um, it's not required. So basically what it's saying is, is, is they've now added this option to, um, if you don't have an advanced skeleton body rig, you can still rig your face. Um, again, you know, whether you've got like a head on a disc or you use a different body rig. Um, great. So I'm going to go with the joint space. I'm not going to use the game for this setup. Okay, and this is where we are actually going to start running through. We've set up everything, all the selections for advanced skeleton. Um, and we know we need to just run through these. So what we do is we just click the eyeball button. If we click the helper, it just says it's just going to add the placement for us. So let's see what happens. Let's turn, um, let's go show all. We don't want, um, we don't want joints on. Okay, so let's see what happens if we click eyeball. This will replace the eyes from the body setup. So this is what we want because we want the advanced skeleton facial rig with the fleshy eyes. Click OK. As you can see, it's added um, added uh, a, a sort of low po low polygon object inside with with a with a locator. That's what we want. And now we're going to go through the selections. This is where um, the, the trickiest bits comes in and takes a little bit of time um, um, at first. So if we click this, what we now just need to do is start making edge selections. This is going to define the different areas, the eyes, the, um, the nose, the mouth, the lips, for, to create all the phenoms, the mouth uh, speaking, um, speaking phenoms. Um, so I'm going to hide the eyelashes and everything because they're going to get in the way at the moment. So we did, um, we did make a, a layer here, um, which looks a bit weird, but that's cool. Um, Right, so here we go. So uh, for the outer eye, um, again, this is going to change depending on your character. So what you need to do is just select an edge loop. So I'm going to go to edges, um, and she's got very big um, eyes here. So this is the outer. It's, it's like it's like not the eyelid, but the the, the the sort of top before the crease. So let's let's see what selection we can make. Ideally, it would be good if it just made a selection all the way around, but sometimes that's not possible. Um, we, we have, you know, um, you know, got a bit of a different topology here. So let's just see what we can do here. It needs to, as you can see, it needs to run um, quite wide. Um, let's go, um, it's just before the crease. So let's go this way and then double click and we want to continue up to here so double click there we go and for me that's that, that that's too low that's going into the that's going into the cheek so let's let's fix that she does have quite funny eye geometry i'm even going to go in a bit here And that's too much on the eyelid, so we're going to have to do. A, I was trying to get a complete circular loop, but we're not going to be able to. So we're going to have to. We're going to have to go around. So we're going to have to um, go here with this one, and I'm going to. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to deselect these, and I want to bring this in. I think. I think around this one let's just let's just see what these look like yeah double click to extend the selection and then I've got a I'm gonna go across it's good to show you with a with a, with a model like this because some you, you do just get the edge loop but this this actually covers you know um, showing you how to do it when you've got not sort of even topology or you know we've had to um, 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 break it up here because otherwise we would have had too many uh, uh, too much density there okay so let's go out all right that looks okay so I'm going to close this down and um, make sure we got um, show nerve surfaces because this is how it's going to create the curve I am going to click outer loop Oh, and it's saying not a complete edge loop. So let's just go back and undo a selection. And see where we have gone wrong here. So that's 
selected there. Let's just do a number four. And as you can see, I have very stupidly selected some extra edges. So there you go. Maybe good to do this in wireframe. <laughs> All right, let's go, but let's try this again. Eyelid outer. And there we go. I'm gonna go back to shaded mode. And there we go. Let's move on to the next one. Eyelid main. So this is for right in close on the eyelid. This so this is going to give us the ability to um, to close the eye. Let's go edge. And I want this one to be I think around here. And we've got a complete edge loop in here, so it's, it's much easier to do. Um, we could go in tighter, but I, I think it's going to it's going to close over the eye here. So. Yeah, I think we'll we'll try it. We'll we'll we'll, we'll try that and see how we go. Eyelid main. Click the button. Let it run. There we go. And now we want eyelid inner. Now the eyelid inner needs to go on the inside. Um, Advanced skeleton has this really clever feature. If you can't see into the eye, where you just um, click assist and it creates a, a soft selection and deforms it out for you to select it. But I don't have much of an eye bag, so I'm just going to simply hide the eyes. I'm going to um, um, just go. Uh, I'm going to click three key to smooth. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to easily select my inner edge loop. For me, that was, it's just easier. But give it a go. It's all it's all good fun anyway. Um, click. Then let's click the eyelid inner, and straight away it gives you the defining area. There you go. That's our first area. Now we move on to the lips. Once you get used to this, you'll be able to bash through this in sort of you know 10, 15 minutes. I'm just going to go through it really slowly. Um, let's go with the lip outer. Again, it gives you a really nice diagram of where to go. So let's let's select. I've got a very sort of wide, flat, flat faced mouth here. Uh, I'm going to go to edge, and let's see. So we want to get the outer edge. Let's probably let's have a look. I know the the lip color is um, only goes to there, the way we textured it, um, but it might be better to go here just to give us some more more room because if we look at the shape it's more to do with the shape of the lips not the color um, if we select here I think that's too that that's too thin so I'm gonna go with this one so so obviously my character is very flat face so just think about this the lip is gonna roll you know from here so if I if I chosen that one it wouldn't have given us much place to do lip rolls so I'm gonna hide this I am gonna select lip outer there we go. I'm going to zoom in, and now we want the lip main. Again, let's let's have a look at this. I'm going to press my. Th um, oh, she's already smooth. That's great. Um, let's. Uh, what we're doing going to edges. So the, this edge is going to be the one that's. This edge loop is going to be the one that's quite tight inside. Let's see. Is, we do this one is it is it enough yep I think that's good to go with that one so let's click lip main and then we want lip inner which does the inside so you can either zoom you can either zoom in or go inside I mean you know you can see the back of the lip here or I'll show you the lip, the you know, the lip assist button. So what you do is you just click assist, and it creates a soft selection, zooms out for you to see it. So it's very useful. Um, I'm going to click this edge loop. As the, let's have a look at what they've chosen as the inner. So it go, it does go in round the back. So you're giving it um, space to roll basically. So let, I. Th I think that one is going to be okay. See, that's the thing. When you use the assist, it does stretch it. So I, I sometimes I would rather see it in place, but um, 
I think we could be good with that. And when you when you click your lip in it, it does remove the sock selection and puts every, everything back in place for you. There we go. I'm going to hit save because I want to save as I go along. Don't forget we're saving this pre-face run here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this one, uh, we're now on the brows. It's pretty easy, these. What I want to do though is I want to see where my brows are. So I'm going to turn on mouth parts, but I'm going to turn on template because I want to be able to see my selection here. Um, let's 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 go for this um, eyebrow inner. <coughs> let's choose the, one of the vertices <coughs> right on the end. I think these ones are a bit easier to do. So it's just eyebrow inner, eyebrow outer. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with this one here. Actually, I know it's not quite touching the geometry, but I know that I want some more in between. So let's go. Eyebrow outer, and then we have an eyebrow center, which is not the center of the eyebrow, it's the center of the brow. So, <clears throat> vertex, I'm going to go in line with this, select this single vertice, press eyebrow center. Now, we do have the um, options for extra controls to control more of the brow, which I like to use. So, here you've got Extra one, there's gonna be an extra three here, so we need to be able to see what we can fit here in one, two, three, maybe. So let's go, um, let's go here. Um, one, just check in there, select another vertice, let's go here, and finally, if you, you can check the, the helper if you want, but it just goes in between. I've got a little bit of space here. Um, hit eyebrow three. There we go. What we need to do now is define the forehead. I'm going to select the the, the helper tool. I, I always need the helper tool on this one. Um, it's good to have a little look where we're going. So we need a, com um, a complete triangle where, where the skin is going to deform. Um, so if you look here, it comes out of the crease of the eye. You know, my eyes are pretty, uh, pretty pretty different. Let me just turn them back on a sec. So we're going to come out, it's supposed to be eye corner really, but I'm going to come out here. Um, I like to come up somewhere where I can join it in a line. So let's go up. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to, how high do we want to go? Let's go, I mean, you don't want to go too high. Um, but we are we are going to break out of this line. Let, let, let's follow this follow this along and come down to you can see here it out of the the crease of the the corner of the eye. So um, if we follow this line down, probably talking here. So we've got our three vertices selected. If I go into wireframe, you can see them one two three. I've gone into shaded mode. Um, let's have a look. That's pretty good. Maybe this one could go higher. Um, top of the nose. Yeah, I'm just going to go one higher. <laughs> Probably won't make any difference, but um, let's have a little look. Nope, I'm going to go back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just, you know, sometimes you, you do tweak these things. I'm just wondering if I should go one high on here to get this. Um, well, let's try it like this. Let's give it a go. Um, let's go click the forehead. There you go. See, if we had had a nice line, you wouldn't get so much of a break there. Um, let's just have a little look at this again. Yeah, I mean... If you wanted, if you wanted to redo it, it it's pretty easy. You just um, uh, if I just hit undo, it undoes it. But you can also just hit the button. You can hit the tick button, and it takes it off. There's a few different ways of redoing it. Let's do this again. Forehead. Maybe we could just do you want enough deformation? I'm just going to bring this one up just to see what it looks like. You know, there's no harm in trying. You can always bring it back and do it again. 
Yep, that might be better. Let's let's give that a go. Save. Then we're going to go onto the jaw pivots. So this is the jaw pivot. You might think that's pretty high, but actually that is where your jaw pivots from. You've got your jaw corner, but your jaw pivot is up in front of your ear. So let's go to here. I think that looks pretty good. Um, it does come under the eye. See, the thing is with me, with mine, is I've got such big eyes that it, mine's actually coming across the eye. His, um, you know, theirs is coming way under. It's a completely different shape. Um, I'm going to go one lower because, because purely because of the shape of my chubby little face. Let's give that a go. So that is jaw pivot. Click the button. Jaw corner. So have a think where you want your jaw to pivot from. I think here's a good point. Uh, not jaw at the corners. This is the pivot point, as I said before. But you get this kind of like L shape form in this this sort of mouth bag. Okay, let's. let's I think that looks pretty good. See what it looks like from the front. Um, you know, we could come forward a bit, maybe here, but um, no. I, th I think we're good. I'm pretty happy with that. Jaw corner. Jaw. This is very easy. It's just the actual jaw which goes underneath, basically underneath your chin, as you can see here. And this will ask us if we're going to replace the, the, the jaw setup, which we are. OK. I'm going to click Save again. And let's move on. Throat is very easy. It's just, just up where the throat is. That's here. Actually, one up. Throat. Cheek. Now she's got massive puffy cheeks. So I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go here. Might want to go a bit lower actually. Um, because the ch the, ch the cheek razor will be there. You, you want to spread them out a little bit. I'm going to go one lower with mine. Cheek, cheekbone. So this is up just underneath the 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 eye to raise the cheekbone up. Um, I'm going to go go here. Might be a bit too close, but obviously my character's got these such huge eyes, um, and the and the nose is is in line with the bottom, which is obviously very abnormal. So let's go, let's go there. See what that gives us. Cheekbone. Then you want the cheek razor. So what this does is it, it sort of raises the cheeks in front. I'm going to go here. Smile bulge. This is to get the character to smile. So it's kind of like from the crease of the mouth up this way. Um, and it, it does go sort of in line with the, the, the nose as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. It could be too far away. I mean, this might be better. Um, Yeah, let's go here, see what we get. Small bulge. Frown. Let's go here. Again, your characters are going to be different, completely different, but you know, the basic placement's the same, but depending, it, it, not just the character, the topology as well is going to affect how yours goes. So let me move on. Nearly there. The nose, so it's bang right on the end of the nose, right on the button. It's going to go here. It's quite an easy one. Nose, nose under. So the nose under is just under here in your uh, fulcrum, I think the word is. I'm going to go right there. Nose under, nose corners for the nostril. So that is going to go. I'm going to go here. 
Now you do have the option for these extra nose controls. I'm not I'm not going to bother with this one. I mean, you know, she's got a very flat nose anyway, <clears throat> but feel free to, to add them in if you want. You've also got like a nostril as well in the middle you can pull out. But I find these controls uh, are usually enough. I'm going to save again. Now from here we're going to do the tongue and you, you don't need to select anything, it says no selection needed. But what you do need to do is position the, the um, locators into position. So if you click, uh, uh, if you click tongue, it's added the tongue um, controls inside. Make sure you've got show locators showing. So I'm going to go to a side view. I am now going to hide my body so I can see what we're doing. <coughs> Here, here we are. Here's the here's the tongue controls. You want to, and there's my tongue there. Um, I'm just going to, so we can see it. I'm going to use the reference instead of um, templating. I'm going to bring this down, and you want to spread them out evenly through the tongue to get those nice um, mouth shapes. You know, when you when you're speaking with the th 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 sound and things like this uh, and also to be able to animate the tongue. This one here goes right on the front of the tongue. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move these forward a bit really because um, <clears throat> my tongue goes way into the head. My mouth bag finishes here actually. Let me just turn the yeah, there you go. Look, my mag bag finishes here, so you know you're not even gonna see or use these. Let's bring these forward a bit. To be honest, I don't tend to use the back two. I only ever animate the first three, or maybe the the, the fourth one a little bit sometimes. There we go. That's all you need to do for the tongue. Okay, we are almost there. So, <clears throat> advanced scanner does come with these really good options for doing eyes. Now I don't need these because my, my, I've actually got controls to, to change the size of the iris and anything anyway. But this is really good. You can have a look at this. You can select a, an edge loop um, and, and it, it will add animation controls to enlarge the pupils and the irises. So you've got iris and pupil, which is really good. Um, obviously you will have to Add a texture to those to those polygons. Um, you know whether that's good for you or not. You've got another optional extra, which is the um, up, mid, low controllers, which allows for bending of the entire face. So this makes this gives you a really cartoony, squashy face. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother with that now. I don't need that. And there we go. We've set up everything we need so far, and I'm going to make sure this is saved as pre-face run so if anything goes wrong we've got it to go through so what we're going to do now finally is we are going to run the advanced skeleton and facial setup by just clicking this button it's going to run through everything automatically it does you know depending on your character it can take can take a little bit of time but it is fun to watch it go through i'm going to hide um the clothes so we can see exactly what's going on it's good it's good to watch it go through you'll see it actually go through and make face shapes and change the weights all automatically um, feel free to you know fast forward this bit if you if, if it's too long now I just want to go over this bit if something does go wrong at a certain step you can um, go back and you can run through every step separately so it says use this section if normal build has errors or to modify the build result so like I said if anything's going to go wrong it's all it's only really ever on the face setup but if you've done everything correctly um, it should be okay. What you might want to do is, is you might find that oh, you know, we've selected too much in. You just go back to your file, ch um, you know, click the little tick button to say remove forehead, or you might want to move the eye controls. You can you can go back and do that. Any of that, just click one and redo it, and that's the beauty of it. So let's um, just close this and let's save. Do a final save, and here we go. I am going to run. The build advanced skeleton face. Let's watch to see what happens. So here we go on the bottom. It says execute step one prep, and the percentage is going here, thirty-five percent. So it's because my head and body is all one mesh. Um, it does take a few seconds longer, but it's not too bad. <clears throat> here we go. Oh, so we do have some. It's saying some selected vert vertices are not symmetrical, even though. We went. We fixed that before, 
So that could be a tiny little glitch, but let's, you know, I've had this on a few occasions. Um, I've just run it through because um, I am not seeing, it's supposed to be selecting them. Maybe they're out of range. I don't know. Let's, let's carry on. And what it's doing here is actually creating the controls. You can see it's running through the eye setup, which we might want to adjust later. Like I say, we might want to go back. It is, you know, trial and error. Here we go, Ex execute step four, eyelid. So these two dots here are the actual eye controllers, which it's just created for us. And there you go, you can see it sort of, it's really clever the way it just like, you know, perfects the skin for you. Obviously we can adjust these things afterwards. There we go, it's running through some blinks. Now it is <clears throat> doing the, uh, the, the eyebrow setup. Step six, eyebrows. There we go, now it's moving on to step nine, so we've managed to get through that, which is the lips. There you go, that's the control placements coming in here, the circular ones. And there we go, it's selected, what, that those yellow vertices that come up were the, um, was the area it's selected. There you go, it's running through some smile poles. You can see it's really it's really clever stuff. A developer is, is 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 a genius on this, and it does push the poses to extremes. Oh, and there you go. It's adding the cheeks. It's doing step thirteen, which is jaw uh, weighing, They're doing the weights on the jaw. So you might want to walk away and just get a drink while this is going, but you know, you don't, you with, a, with, a, with a medium res character, it, it does only take maybe maybe two, three minutes, but um, I've had characters take longer. There you go, you saw the mouth quickly open there, it quickly flashed. I, I quite like to watch this go through, especially if you've never seen it before. It's doing execute step 14. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom of my screen, draw open, there you go. <coughs> It's just done the tongue behind the scenes there. You can see, the, don't know if you can see the nostrils. I don't want to zoom in because I don't want to interrupt anything. I'm not going to touch the mouse or my screen. Step 23, finish. And that is what we want to see. Face build complete. Boom. That's great. So that means we, you know, we went through without any errors. So, you know, with all the precautions we took, even though it did come up with that tiny error, I, I mean... I've seen that before, even though it is dead symmetrical, we did run it through their cleaner. So now what I like to do here is quickly save it now as as four, and this will be post face run. So that we we, we we now might test the rig and we might find, oh, we want to we want to change the placements. Great, we just go back to the other file. So let's have a little look at what we got here. This is all the controllers. You can see what it's put on here. Um, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll select this, this uh, main controller here, which is the mouth control. It's a great little one to use because you can... Um, look at that. We haven't had to do anything. And we've got this. So the mouse running. I mean, I, I don't tend to animate with this anyway. I tend to use the draw controller. So I'll just quickly show you. We've got a draw controller. We can rock it left and right. We can open it. We have got um, the main small um, poles on the sides. So these are the ones that I like to use. So you've got up here, you can um, do anything you want here. Um, you've got um, lip controls, um, lower lip controls. Um, I'll just move up to show you, we'll just select, select the two eye controls. These are great. If I go up to here, you've got blink and squint. So let's see. There we go. Fleshy eyes are working. Now, if I, um, yep, there's the blinks. Eyelashes are all attached. We might need to adjust some weights and stuff later. Um, but if I move these around, uh, let's have a look. Sorry. Let me, let's have a look at the eye controllers.
Okay, so what I've noticed is that when we select the eyes, we only selected the outer shell, not the inner shell. So I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go back and um, and put that in. Let me just go into <coughs> shaded mode, and you'll see the you know what the eyes do when they are rotating. So you've got these lovely fleshy eyes going around. And you can actually, um, I think, change um, how squishy they go as well at some point. Let's have a little look at the um, eye controllers. There we go. You can use these up, down, left, right to get it. And then what you can do is you can grab these extra controllers. Move these around. You've got the nose. We've got the cheeks. You've got extra eye controls. We can bring these down, you know, it, it, manually as well. Oh, we've got little ones here. There's a lot you can do with this rig. So now you also have this extra button that's come up. Before we had go to build pole, we've now got go to face, um, go to build pole on the face as well. So I'm going to quickly show you some extra stuff as well. Um, on the on the main mouth controller, you do have all these ones here as well. So you've got things like lip slide, um, lower pucker. You see it rolls the forgetting your F sounds and things. You've got lower squeeze, um, um, upper press. And we haven't gone over this yet, but if we haven't used these other buttons, up here you've got, if you click on this, you get a, a GUI that comes with advanced scanning to, collect the, to select the different things on the rig, but you also get one for the face. So in here you can select any of the tongue. You can, let me just open the jaw. What you can do is, while you're animating, you might want to move some of the teeth. So you've got a separate teeth control for each one. You've got the no. If if I this is the tongue control. So if I select one of them, select the rotate. There's the control. But you can actually hold shift, 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 and you select, and it selects all the controls for you. So you can select multiple controls. There you go. It does come, I'm going to go back to build pose. It does come with a few expressions, but again, you know, you're better off animating your own. You've got happy, angry, surprise, um, um, and uh, yep, emotions. Um, you do have these as well. This is the, the, the cheek, um, the sort of small, bold frown and everything, which is essentially the same as moving these around. I prefer to animate on these, you get more control, you can do a mixture of both, whatever you want really. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, looking really good. Let me just um, bring the hair back in. And if we can move the head around, of course, I need to fix these eyes, which we didn't attach. Um, yeah, looking really good. Um, the face rig really works well. I hope that helped, guys. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually go through, and I'm going to show you um, some different things. We're going to go through and um, uh, uh, smooth these out a little bit with a with a, with, a, with a clever tool called Delta Mush. We're going to go and um, perfect some of the weights on the rest of the character. And then we're going to do a little extra bonus of, of, of putting some extra controls on the dress. Um, I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.